Walk me through how COP28 can be a cop of action, as Dr. Sultan describes it, when there is so much skepticism about a major fossil fuel producer like the UAE hosting an event like this. But again, I think it's, uh, this skepticism is strange to me. You know, when I want to progress on those difficult topics in my company, I design the manager who believes the least, which is the most skeptical to force him to think about the challenge and to find the solution. I think, honestly, putting Dr. Sultan under the spotlight puts a lot of pressure, not only on him, but on the whole oil and gas industry. We are, we are responsible people, so you know, since he has been nominated, we have some working groups to try to come with a platform. Uh, and the platform should be, for me, about two pillars. One, of course, is uh, methane. Methane, you know, we think we, I think the industry should be able to aim for zero methane by 2030. We have an objective reduced by 50% since 2010. We can reduce by 80% more. So almost nothing by 2030. So that's something because technologies are there. So it's a matter to engage everybody and not only the international companies like Total Energy, not only the majors, because we are at the forefront, but also the national companies in many countries where you don't have foreign investors, you know, that's, that's the main challenge. And the second part is just COP1 and 2. What I suggested during this OPEC conference is that uh, maybe each company should have a target by 2030 to diminish, like the states have a target, you know. Let's engage the oil and gas industry globally and let's demonstrate that we are serious people and we are part of the solution. But again, if the debate is banned for fuel, this is a really a wrong debate. I'm sorry to say, this is not the right way. What uh, stakeholders should say, okay, we need fossil fuels for some decades, let's reduce the emissions and drastically and do your job because you have the money to do it.